Welcome back to episode 7 of Psychonauts! My name's Chronically Blue, and welcome back all my psychic bears. Last episode, we learned how to levitate, which is really cool. We even won a levitation race, and we found out that Mia, or Mila, and Sasha were, uh... They, uh, they, uh, may have done a little few things together. You know, they may have done a little taxes, and... If you don't know what taxes is, good. You shouldn't. You're too young to know what taxes are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I do not need to give you stuff to look up. I'm sorry? I don't like the way that she described that, but okay. Okay, so if we hold the left trigger, then we can float up, and that will definitely help us. I feel like there was a thing right to the left of us, but I... Okay, now I guess not. What does this do? Oh, does that make give us a respawn button? Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. Okay, we can do that. Actually, can we like? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. So we can just continuously hold it and then let go of it in order to keep it going. That's good. I saw something shiny over there, actually. What was it? It was something shiny. Not you. That. What's that? What's that do? I see something shiny. What is it? Aggressive capacity increased. You may store more Psy Blast shots now. Oh, cool. Didn't even know that was there, but I'm glad I found it. Final emotional baggage. Ha! Okay, I guess it doesn't tell us if we did all the emotional baggage or not, but I'm just gonna assume we did. Because I don't hear any more crying, thankfully. Okay, here we are. Whoa, that is low. Oh, there's a potty. Okay, um, let's see where this takes us. Whole lot of nowhere, got it, okay. Uh, let's see where this takes us. All the way back, awesome. I'm glad I'm so observant. Oh no! <laughs> I thought we were still on the thing. Without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. Hooray! We have levitation. So we actually just unlocked an achievement that says Rolling Rockstar. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Bodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, Sweeney. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just. So we've been told two times now. Oh no, he just like that. <laughs> One time. <laughs> I thought we could levitate over the Why water now. Like oh, sweet goodness. Okay. Whew. Okay. Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. Oh, sweet goodness. Yes, now we need to go to Agent Nine's lab now that we can levitate. And we need to go back to the brain tumbler. Okay. I'm a certified levitator now. Ready to roll. I've been running some tests. 
It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Ah. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? No. Roz is a man of plans. Back in Sasha's lab. Okay, which one of us? Sasha shooting gallery. Uh, I hope these aren't all the levels I have to go through. Uh, brain tumbler. Me as. Okay, we're gonna go to the brain tumbler. Cause now we can levitate and shoot stuff and set stuff on fire. Rolly, rolly, rolly. We are full on rolling. Alright, so we need to follow the little bunny. The little bunny foo foo. Oh no! Little bunny foo foo! You're going too fast for me! Bunny foo foo! I can only roll so fast, bunny foo foo! Tell you what, I blame politics. I don't have a reason. I just like to blame them. But now with the uh, incinerator spell, we can burn the plants alive so that they stop bothering us, which is quite helpful. Why has this been taking a while? Is that supposed to do that? If I could have a better camera angle, that'd be great too. Oh, right. I'm dumb, but that's okay. Okay, where are we going? I'm assuming right here. Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? <sighs> TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad boy. We just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you solid foods for six hours! Lily! Don't you sell its foods for six hours. TV. Are you alright? Okay, that's just me. <laughs> Alright, so we can actually open the hatch and go down the brain chute. Or we could keep making du Dugan, du Dugan say TV repeatedly. But we gotta go get that brain. Kinda looks like a drill or a, a tank. I'm instead a train. Raz, behind you! What? What? Okay, so he said soft gelatinous underbelly, so I'm assuming what we need to do is we need to... No fair, I blasted you, tank. Thank you, that's what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. 
So now I'm assuming we just need to like... Okay, yeah, that's what we need. So it's just gonna be a while of us doing that. And then running away. Run away! I want to get away. Okay, so I, I think we just need to make it shoot the thing. There we go. Oh, okay, we don't even have to hammer it. That's very helpful. So... Okay, so it looks like the pillars themselves grow back, actually. Okay. Yeah, no, this will be easy. We don't gotta think too hard about this. <laughs> think. <laughs> hard. <laughs> Psychonauts. <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Right here. Dummy. There we go. I'm sorry I'm not talking a lot. I'm really focusing on uh, destroying this stupid brain thing. Ah, oh, we almost had it. So just a little bit of hiding, waiting for it to be dumb, and then attacking it. Which we can do. Okay, should be ready to attack now. There we go. Let's put it out of its misery. Heck yeah! Hey, Rain. I'm sorry, what? Oh, sweet goodness. Kid, I'm trying to save you. There we go. I hope that's me winning. Is this a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute. Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your- Hmm. Hey, that white room. What? I know. It's from Oleander's mind. What? I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Mari is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Uh, okay, so I guess we need to hurry to the boathouse. Where's the stupid thing again? It was somewhere here. There it is. Where would you like me to take it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's time to go to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Yes, yeah, so as the little mission said, we have to go to the beach, eat, let's go to the bay. They say what they're gonna say, have a drink, fling, find a bird like bab, like me. It's time to come back and try on. Let's get it on. Zone, own, yes, I'm in the zone. Bobby! Uh oh. Look, I can explain. <laughs> Jeez, sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe, but listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes, isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> How is that great? Because this is an honest to 
goodness, psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long yeah. have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here, and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? Oh my goodness. What? Lily. Let's get him. I how? Can't. Can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick, while the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to a summer camp before? Now get a no. move on before that girl gets overly digested. Overly digested. Okay, well, this... <laughs> I tell you what. Th how I'm feeling right now is very similar to how I felt the first time playing... Uh, Conquer's Conquer Life and Reloaded, or Conquer's Bad for a Day. Just very confused, uh, not exactly n knowing what's going on, and just being like, okay, I guess we're doing this now. Yeah, but luckily there is a boat over here, so that'll help us. Or not, I guess that boat's there just for decoration. Whatever. Okay, um, it looks like we can get over here. There we go. Now we're thinking with our noggin. Hey, right, let's see what this stupid thing is. There was so much happening, and, like, I'm here for it. I'm legitimately here for it. Like a hundred ten percent, I never know what's gonna happen next. So I'm, I'm here for it. See, I'm at the point where because this is episode seven, I'm so invested that I legitimately have to finish this game now. Because if I don't find out what happens, then I'm just, I, I just won't sleep at night. So uh, we're gonna advance just a little tiny bit. Okay, that's a clam. How nice of you to clam by. Hey. Sir! Get off! What the? What does that say? Hey, get off your ball! I think we did that right, I'm not too sure. I also have no idea where I'm going or what to do here. So, we're really just finding this out together. Um... I cannot tell you how much, like, never before have I played a game and I'm like, oh, well, duh, it's just a game, it doesn't matter. Like, even with, even with Detroit Become a Human, that had me close. I'm like, oh, wow, this is actually, like, really good. I feel like I'm in a movie. And my choices matter. So, it's really cool. With this one, like, it feels like one of those, like, 1980s Saturday morning movies that say it's PG, but really it should have been PG-13. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like the secret in him. Or uh, the Dark Crystal. That kind of stuff. Even never ending story, that, that's pretty dark actually. Apparently they made a part three, which I never knew about. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Okay, copper 
off the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. <laughs> What? What what was that? What was that? What happened? What happened? I can't tell if I'm doing damage or not. Okay, it doesn't look like I am. Okay, yeah, no, we're not doing damage. Um I'm trying really hard to figure this out. How do I do this? Sweet goodness. I can't light him on fire. I I'm all out of shots, so that's great. What am I supposed to do here? Man, that must be full of sharp nails. Hate to swallow that. That's full of sharp nails. So we just do we just have to let him eat that? Wait, I'm so confused. I'm legitimately so confused. Hey, okay, so this is full of sharp nails. There we go, okay. Now we're thinking like a adult. Okay. So we have to stay close, but not too close. And when he's sucking in, we gotta break the nail boxes close to him so he absorbs them to deal damage to himself. You know, you can go a while of not noticing stuff and then once it does click, you're like, oh, well that makes sense now that you've mentioned it. Now that we're speaking English, I get it. I'm sure, I'm sure that didn't do good for our health. It did not. Okay. Um, let's see. It is annoying that we have to break the box of nails while close to him. That's the only part that I'm like, eh, I'm not too fond of that. Ow. Because I was over here thinking like, oh, maybe I have to shoot him or something like that, you know? Oh, that did quite a lot of damage. Okay, now we've got an even tinier hole. Ow. Oh man, this is so weird. I cannot tell you how weird this is. This is like what Raz sees when we're playing a game. I have no idea if I'm even doing this right, okay? Like, I'm, I'm just running and hoping for the best here. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Okay, so I think we just need to keep going over here and we might find something. Hopefully. I don't know. Uh, did we die? What happened? Okay, we died. There's some man. I wish, I wish I knew. I really do. I wish I knew. I wish I knew you wanted me. I wish I knew. So I'm sure you're tired of the pop songs by now. Okay, no, that's too far. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Cause I'm not seeing any boxes of nails.
Uh, maybe we're supposed to go... No? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, actually? Am I just supposed to wait here, or...? Oh, okay, I had to wait for it to load. Okay, so I just had to give it a moment. It's kind of like the ghost house. Ah. There we go. I had to remember how to do it. <laughs> Are we good? You just made me remember the controls I forgot back in episode one. See, the thing is, I'm trying to go far, but not too far at the same time. I think we're good, but I'm, I'm, it's really hard to tell. Also, this is a very long scene. Just putting that out there. Why is it so long? Am I doing something wrong? I, I... Okay. We're back to normal now. Just took it sweet time, that's all. You know, they get that we can lock on and target stuff. There we go, making him swallow... Uh, nails for breakfast, tax for snacks. But um, uh, that's a song. That, that's a song reference, anyway. Uh, anyway. Okay. You better not be sucking in air again. I know we like to do that. You little air sucker. You're an air sucker. That's worse than a waffle stomper. You contribute nothing to society. Are we moving again? Really? We better find something cool, because I'm getting kind of tired of all this. Oh, hey, an arrowhead. Well, while I appreciate arrowheads, I don't think that's exactly what I meant when I said, hey, I want something cool. Well, so my throat kind of hurts. And today was the first day in uh, just about nine days when I had an hour-long lunch break, again. And I was like, oh, thank you, I missed you so much. I, I legitimately set like two or so alarms, and then just just didn't know what to do with myself. I'm like, huh, it's been so long since I've had this much time. I don't know what I even need to do anymore. Okay, I'm just trying really hard to make heads and tails as to all of this. Because I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be. Okay. We go over here. Like, I'm, I'm trying my best here. Like, it's not helping me at all. Which I appreciate and also hate. It's not the worst thing ever. The fact that... The, the part that makes it okay is that you don't lose any lives or health. That's the one thing I'm like, okay. You know what? I can accept this. This isn't horrible, it's not the worst thing. It gives you lots of chances in order to make sure everything is correct. And that's that's honestly all I ask for. Like, hey, give me unlimited tries to figure stuff out. If I don't figure it out, allow me to see what the answer is. Are we going back to normal or are you gonna go suck some air again? You're sucking air again, aren't you? Ah, uh, you air sucker. Oh, sweet goodness. Also, we're only halfway done. Welcome back. Okay, now we're making sense. There we go. So we gotta get the antenna stuck in the thing. And then, whack him. 
I think just one more will be fine. That's what I'm talking about! Aw, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! And we will get in there next episode. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all next time when we go inside the lungfish. Thank you all for watching, Zuggy Bears.